one o'clock in the afternoon. Here's the actual meth uh, testing kit. And Fred Larson is at his second job site. Fred owns a home inspection business and is also the president of Utah's chapter of American Society of Home Inspectors. What he's demonstrating here for us is something he's doing more often inspecting homes for meth. Now we're going to wipe inside the template. 10% of his customers want a meth test done on the house and the they results on those homes are pretty surprising. When we get the results back, it's running around 20 to 25% of the houses we test come back positive. So it's a fairly high percentage. In fact, according to the Salt Lake Valley Health Department, the number of properties they are shutting down because of meth is on the rise. From Salt Lake City to Draper, they have closed 129 properties since January 1st. That's only seven properties away from all of last year's total. In 2010, 97 properties. In 2009, 80. Most of the houses we get would be that it's just meth has been used inside the house. Uh, we do pick up there a few that the levels are high enough you would think that it had been cooked in there. The increase could be due to the number of foreclosed homes that are now on the market. People want to make sure someone wasn't using or cooking the drug in the house before they move in. We've certainly seen it pick up the last, the last couple of years, especially with the distressed properties. People are concerned about what has gone on in those houses.